Hey guys, welcome back to Modern Golf. Hope you guys are having a great week. Sorry for the overexcited review. It's been a minute. Uh, first, I want to thank everyone who's new. Uh, subscribers, I appreciate it. Subscribers who are returning, appreciate it. Also want to give a big heads to, uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, I was recently interviewed by the New York Post. Um, I'll put the link in for the article in the description uh, for our expertise in golf reviews and that kind of stuff. So big, big thanks uh, and props to Nick uh, and the people at uh, the New York Post for uh, that interview. Very fun time. So today we're talking about, I think, one of the best looking cart bags I've seen in a long time. And this is by the guys at girls at Revcore. Also, which I think is the best name, a subsidiary of Caddy Daddy. Who's your Caddy Daddy? Um, so I absolutely love this bag. Um, they call it navy. I think it's more of a blueberry kind of color. But for whatever color you want to call it, I like it. I think they actually call it dark navy. So we'll get into the price points, what I think of it, our thoughts of using it, um, who's this for, all that good stuff. First, let's talk about what this bag features have and what it doesn't have. So carrying strap, um, this entire bag is made of this tour, uh, what I would call vinyl material. I love the debossing of their logo, very cool. I love uh, the rubber handle. Uh, don't give me a cheap fabric handle. I'm a big uh, proponent or uh, proponent of rubber handles i love it the accents up here as well are the dark chrome which we've seen more and more i like it it's almost like a black but a very cool look um, there's elastic here to keep things together uh, towel ring here we'll get into the base near the bottom let's slowly turn this back so here's your towel apparatus or your towel sorry your umbrella apparatus so your umbrella would go down through here and connect to the bottom here. Do I like it? Yes. I, I think the gentleman or woman who's using a cart bag should at least have the umbrella or at least put. Um, so let's get into the pockets and a ton of them there are. So a large pocket here. Yep, you got it. Cooler lined, igloo like. Um, so if you want to keep your cold donuts in there or beer or what have you, that's the pocket. On both sides has these uh, little reservoir uh, outlets to get all the moisture out of there. Love this. Huge. It's huge. I mean, this is absolutely huge. So if you're a guy who drinks a, um, a ton of beer or yoo-hoo's or what have you, this is a great place for it. Um, this pocket, uh, which I really like, I love the garage in the rubber, um, waterproof. This is your valuables pocket. Um, love this pocket. I love that it doesn't tell you it's a valuables pocket. Um, love everything about, listen to the zippers. Absolutely love it. So great for your valuables, again, on both sides. Huge garment pocket, and yes, boys and girls, full colored matching rain hood. Um, absolutely love this. Um, and you can see on here, there are cutouts for your handles are. And we'll talk about those handles a little later. So, so far, so good. We love everything about this bag. This may be the biggest, I won't say towel ring, you can put whatever you want in there, your keys, your phone, whatever you want, that I've ever seen in a golf bag. And this is metal. Uh, again, another quality thing that these guys do that I really enjoy. Also, um, ooh, I have a glove here. Good place to put your glove um, right there on both sides as the world turns. One of the coolest things I've seen um, in a cart bag um, is a kind of a cart tunnel like this. So you kind of keep it in there, it hides, um, and certainly probably where it rubs the most. I would still probably suggest using a cart sleeve for this kind of bag. Um, you don't have to, but don't cry to me when your bag is falling apart in six months uh, from the wear and tear from the card strap. Love these pockets here. Uh, super large, great for range finders, your phone, 
um, more donuts, a Yoo-Hoo if you want, whatever you want to put in there. So love that pocket here. Another large pocket, I would say this is probably more what I would put my rangefinder or tees. Um, there's a material, a little more of a harder finish than these soft pockets. This huge pocket here can be embroidered. As we undo it, I would say this is ideal for your balls or really everything. This is huge. There are gussets here on the side, and I'll show you guys, so you can un-Velcro um, to get it off and as well as expand and get into your uh, goods. Really, really like this bag so far. We'll get down here handle here. I love it. I wish more companies did it. It's molded where your fingers go. It's a great golf bag. Same things on this side. They duplicate it, which I love. I don't know why you brands don't do this. If, if you're on the passenger side, right? So you're on this side, you can't get into your stuff on this side and vice versa. So it's nice that they duplicate it on both sides. Kudos to RevCore and your caddy daddy um, for coming up with that great great um, so everything's the same your valuables pocket um, there is nothing in this pocket so you can put your rain hood but again another um, place to put your yoohoo and beer uh, and donuts and all that good stuff so same pocket here as well this one's just empty um, the only thing I will say my only shortcoming with this bag and maybe it's just, I'm just dumb, I don't know where it is. There's no way to get into your clubs from this bag. And I'm sure they'll tell me, hey dummy, it had to be this. I don't know. Uh, that's the only, the only shortcoming I've had with this bag. Let's get into the base. The base is awesome on this. Um, you can see it here in a better angle. I love the four points. So again, you're not walking with this bag. Um, but if you go to set it down, it's very sturdy, very comfortable. Again, we talked about this earlier. I love this handle. So let's talk about the top of this bag. 14-way top, putter pit here, or if you're not a caddy and not mental like I grew up where your putter would go here. Um, and I'll grab a putter here. I just happen to have one here. Um, this is my first putter ever, a slot line. My God, who knows how old this thing is. So that's how your putter goes. This putter is 36 inches. I should have had a shorter one. Um, fits in nicely, easy to get in and out. One of the touches I love, and when I first got this bag a while ago, I noticed was two things. One is the rubber accents here are color matched. Seldom happens in golf bags anymore. The other thing, this whole piece in here is rubber so it will not damage your swag putter or your betonardi or your scotty cameron or whatever you play your detroit putter i should say those are my guys um love this top 14 way um love the rubber handles on both sides i wish i could tell you guys how great this rubber is and the high quality of this it's really good um I was sent another bag, not by this brand, another brand um, that I think was trying to copy this. It was awful. It, you won't see the roof up. It was that bad, but these guys get it. Um, so let's get into the top, and I'll get a little closer here so you guys can see. 14-way um, top, again, super thick terry cloth material here. This is not going to damage your clubs. Um, here, I have an old, it's my old mom's left left-handed three iron just so you can see how stuff gets in and out plenty of room because you guys ask me and beat me to the death of can i get my super nine layer grips in and out of these bags yes please don't ask me but yes you can get them in um, it's definitely something you guys ask me more than anything can i get my super grips in there yes no problem with that um, price point wise um Price point, these guys are just under 300 bucks. They have promotions, they have all kinds of stuff, so you can get it definitely cheaper. It's a really good value for what you get. Um, obviously, I like the subtle branding on it. I don't need to scream I'm playing Mizuno or Callaway or TaylorMade or what have you. Listen, those guys who do it great, I don't like it. Um, very low profile um, looks. So I love this bag. I think their warranty is great. Um, I think if you have any questions, let me know. But I think it's going to be one of the best cart bags um, in the year. Again, I didn't show you guys this before, but the garages for the zippers are just, they're just awesome. Uh, 
really high quality stuff. I really like what these guys do. Um, this is the first, like I said, I've ever seen this bag. Um, I think it's new for 24, but really, really good, high quality golf bag. If you're a guy who, and listen, most of us are, riding a cart 90% of the time, this is a great choice. Um, again, we will uh, keep you posted on all the stuff from Caddy Daddy. Uh, what a fun name. God, I wish I was a CEO of Caddy Daddy um, and the RevCore brand. But really, really, like I said, like this. My only caveat is I don't know how you get into your bag if you drop something. And, you know, let's try this side. Maybe I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb. It's in here. There's a zipper in this one. So that's how you get into it. I apologize to the fine people at RevCore. I'm just dumb. There is something in, to get. And let's see if there's in here too. Now that I've done that, let's see if I can find it in here. Nope, just the one side. Okay, so the one side, the right side, you can get into it. The left side, you you can't. Um, but anyway, love the bag. I love this color. I think this color looks even better in person. Um, I don't know how it looks on the camera, um, but in person, it's like a blueberry navy kind of color. I love it. I think they've done a great job. Um, I'm kind of tired of black bags. I've seen enough black bags for a while. Um, but I like this. Anyway, check them out. I'll put the link in the description. There are no codes. I have no loyalty, all that good stuff. These are unbiased reviews. Um, certainly, like I said, feel free to check out our website, modrngolf.com for all of our reviews of golf and everything else. Or just follow us on YouTube and subscribe and you can watch them all over and over again. Uh, but anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, anything you want to see, let us know uh, for this bag. We absolutely love it. I think the quality is really, really, really good. Um, it's up there with the brands that we had talked about earlier. So anyway, anything else you guys want to see, let us know, and we will see you next time. Thanks, guys.